We don't know what we're doing. Oh, gee, sorry. Said like a Canadian. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's how I used to say it because I like Degrassi so much. You liked that accent? I like Degrassi. <laughs> I said sorry. Like that plastic I accent. I wanted to emulate my Canadian teenage soap opera stars, I suppose. Canadians are the are great people. I love you Canadian have an people. Edge to your voice. I don't like Canada. Okay. What does it mean? It's just a it's a plastic country. It's not real. But you like the people? That can't be true. I have to. You can't like the No, I have to like the people. Why? Because it's not okay to not like people. So I like them. Yeah. But I, you don't have to like places. But do you know... A place can't be upset. Do you know upset. anything about Canada? It's not about that. <laughs> what is it It's about? a plastic... So Canadians, <laughs> they'll be like, this is... We're the, we're the 14th largest grocery store chain in North America. Oh, because they want to be our North American and it's brethren. Like, You're not us. Look at North America. They are, but no, you'll never hear people from the U.S. Well, yeah. say, "Oh, we're the oh, this is the number one song in North America," because we're it. Yeah, but they want. We're the only part want, of the whole place. To be included. North Let America in. is our. No, they need to just give up on being a country. Secede to us. No. Secede to we us. We don't want that. Become us. No. Yes. No. You have so no right to be. Giant you have no mass. right to be on your own up there in that thin little border that that straddles They're us. They're doing great. The whole thing's an Arctic wasteland, and you want to be a country? <laughs> no, you don't get to have this massive tundra of ice. It's not all ice. It's all ice. I don't know what Canada looks the like. The only parts that aren't ice are the parts that dip into us. Mm. And that's where everyone lives in Canada because Canada isn't a real place. We can't have more people. Why I do you love have more I people? love Canadians. Do you? I but, think you're but a their racist. country but I love them so much that I want them to just join us and stop right. being a separate. If Canada disappeared off the map, it would take like at least a year for most of the world to even know. If they dropped well, off Can the map? Canada went away. What happened to Canada? Well, how would they not know? Because it's so the insignificant. What do you mean? It's very large. It's an. I. I mean, uh, as a you as mean a as a, as a nationality, so insubstantial to you. No, the people are so great. That doesn't mean anything. You can't have it disappear without the people disappearing. But the people would just <laughs> move here, right? Right before. Why do you want more people here? There's not that many. There's, here, Canada's, there are too many people here. Canada is like California. But straddle along a little a little edge of us. I guess. I don't... It's like if Californians doubled and moved along to the edge of us at the top, but just outside and said, we're a different country. We're a whole different country. We're North America, and so are you, and we're all the same, but we're different. They speak French sometimes. Another, another problem, yes. <laughs> There's no business over here. We don't want them. We already have enough problems. They're fine. But if they're, Leave them alone. But if they're so great, then them joining us would be no, good, we'll too. No, we'll just corrupt them with our bullshit. They have their bullshit, too. Plastic Everyone, is pure. Canada isn't some perfect little place. It's not too bad. And it's plastic. And it needs to join us. Plastic lasts a long time, and it's very durable and reliable and kind. Plastic is kind. I just mean that it's fake. It's a pretend country. They're all We're pretending. All pretend countries. That, but they're they're really pretending. I guess. There's no. They are pretending. If the nation of Canada absolved, and they just said we can't do this anymore, again, most of the world would just be like, like two years later, they'd be like, what happened? Canada went away. Was Canada a country? Were they? What were they exactly? Were they a province? Yeah. I don't. Like. Sometimes I just wish you would go to therapy for just, just like just to where does this come from? We were in a uh, we were seeing a comedian. Yes. In a like a stadium, and there was a Canadian flag, and I was just like, "Yeah, you got like problems." It was a hockey rink. Of course, there's a Canadian flag. 
Because that's all they have is ice. Yeah. So they celebrate their ice. So I'm gonna trick. I'm gonna get you into a therapist and get into some childhood, childish issues. Figure out why you're so anti-Canadian. Not Canadian. Canada. I love people <laughs> from Canada. You hate everybody. Everyone from Canada is the perfect person, and I love those people so much. It's just the country. How did we get here? I don't know. To your hate speech, your geographical hate speech. It's not hate speech because you, it's okay to hate a thing. It's not okay to hate a person. <laughs> and that's why I don't hate any Canadian. Yeah, you just hate the land in which they live and the culture they have I just have hate built. their pretend country that they've that okay. they've all that they're all just kind of in on this joke together. We're North America. I have my own issues with being we don't need to get into that. <sighs> I probably do well in Canada. I'm going to Canada. All right. Goodbye. This was nice. Okay. (laughs) Well, if you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe to this podcast. Everywhere. At the same time. On, especially on YouTube. Yeah. And on Apple uh, Podcasts. Not on Spotify, because fuck Spotify. Yeah. Um, you can also Ooh. guess what, what we, we saw, saw because we saw something. We did. And, and if we you, continue to. We continue to see more and more of these things. Yeah. And if you can guess what that thing is, you will win a $500 Visa gift card. Just go to oyabigtime.tv slash guess to read the official rules and to guess what we saw. You can also... Give us a call. Give us a call. Yeah. At 802-870-6928. We'll play your voicemail that you leave when you call that number here on the podcast. And then we'll We'll say, wow, you said that. Yeah. You can say anything. You can just say. Get it off your chest. You can just call and say, fuck you. Defend Canada, for Christ's sake. Somebody. Somebody defend Canada. Turn this down. Like, tell me why you think it's a not a pretend country. Yeah, get this man to tone it down a little. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, give us a call, please. If you want to, we'll reply eventually. We always record. We always do eventually. Eventually record. It might be months later, but that call will be good. Hello and welcome to Oh Yeah Big Time with the podcast. This episode, <laughs> what? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the Olympics. Want to see a bunch of elite, top-performing athletes who have trained their entire lives in a sport no one cares about compete? Well, you'll be glad to know Olympics are here, and the best part is no one knows who won the Olympics. Ever. No one knows anything about the Olympics. The Olympics sort of watched them at a bar. Okay. I think you're projecting your own feelings. I don't. Because we're getting a lot of play-by-play texts about the Olympics. People watch the Olympics. Sort of. No, we get like... Some people... We just beat Serbia. Like, they're watching the Olympics. Some some people watch the Olympics. I think a lot of people do. But most people... This is my impression of most people watch... Most people watching the Olympics. <laughs> that's my impression. That's most that's people watching the Olympics. It's like a side thing. I don't know. You I think don't, most I don't people think we know what people are like. I think that's something I'm learning with time. I don't think we don't know. I don't know if we know anything. <laughs> it's true, yeah. I spent most of my life Because if people are texting us about it, they're pr- probably watching a little bit, a little invested, enough to think that we care. That's oh yeah. People do text about the Olympics. So We've had a they lot must of think text. Huh. They think we care. They think cuz it's a global or I don't want to project everyone... that to you. They think I care. I don't. I'm indifferent. I'm not. I might be sad if they were canceled. When I get mad, I get mad about the, the Olympics. First of all, the Olympics should be the the oldest of sports. 
like uh, like running each hoops. other on horses with the javelins. Javelins, yeah. Um, dueling. Dueling. Foot running anything they can run right because they've been running, running from a, a tiger that's that's an olympic yeah. sport when you have basketball in the olympics what are you doing i know that was made 20 years ago basketball is a new sport it might be from the greeks basketball I think, old. I think i've seen an old basketball Go, look up how old is I'm basketball telling you, i think i've seen one somewhere you you saw an old basketball? No, like a hoop. Oh, I... You saw an old hoop. Okay, that's <laughs> I think when different. I, I think when I went to Europe when I was ten, I saw an old hoop at the Coliseum. Something like that. Well, just open, just open. I don't know my login. Hold on. Don't. This is important. This is important. Yeah. How old is basketball? Like when was first basketball? Are you asking ChatGPT? Yeah. Okay. I always do. 1891. But I feel That's 20 years like old. I went to Europe and saw an old Are you, are you arguing with ChatGPT? <laughs> but I feel like I saw a basketball hoop at the Coliseum. <laughs> Is there an early basketball-esque thing? Um, Corfball? 1902. That's even newer. Ancient ball games. Maybe I just saw ancient ball game equipment. So I can just invent a sport. Yeah. And then in 20 years, it's in the Olympics. Is it pickleball in the Olympics yet? Because it should be. I don't know. That would be an example of one. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, the Olympics is... It should be very traditional. There should be chariots. Chariots. Horses. And it's not televised on TV. And it's the, the, there shouldn't be the torch. Mm. That should be how the whole thing's lit. In torches. Everyone's holding torches. <laughs> In the stands. And wearing and those to, like... those Greek, what are those? The sachets. What are those? I think we had this problem when we talked about the Romans. We don't know what any garb is called. What are the Roman or Greek garbs? Mix them up. I don't know the difference between them, honestly. Yeah. They're the same. It's like Amish and... Uh, Mormon. And No, Amish and uh, pilgrims. Uh, same thing. Same thing. So, but yeah, I mean, the, the Olympics, half of it is sports that no one has known. They just make them up. They're making up these sports. Yeah. I was thinking, you know what I think it is? Cause I've been watching that very relevant David Beckham documentary that's so relevant and came out a year or two ago. But his dad basically made him, he made David Beckham who he is, right? He pressured him to play sports his whole life and lots of borderline abuse, whatever. All these athletes, like, to get to that level, their parents made them play sports. This did not happen of their own accord, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, definitely I not. would love a study of, like, that there's no way to control this, but especially in these, how many would end up in the Olympics? These obscure sports. You have That's these, what I'm saying. I'm an elite athlete at Nordic toe curling. It's like, <laughs> what yeah. is that? But that's what I think happened is it's like these parents want Olympians and it's like, well, they're not. Did you hear Nambia won the hot coal swallowing at the Olympics? <laughs> I would watch that. I would watch hot coal yeah. swallowing for sure. But I meant like you have a son or daughter and it's like, you know how you don't like running? You know how you're really bad at running? Well, I would like an Olympian child. You're going to take on brisk walking or whatever they call it. They have that in the Olympics, speed walking. They have speed walking? They have speed walking. It's just me and when anytime I'm in public. I would be yeah. great. I'd be a great speed walker. I wonder how fast they make. Can I look it up? Yeah. I've heard. I, I am a fast walker. So maybe you could be an Olympian, brother. I'm zooming around like crazy. I found a 2012 Olympic speed Races. This is just the financial district at, on lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. This is just people yeah, walking around. You're not breaking a sweat toasty. doing that. You probably are. I bet it's harder than running in some ways to keep like a controlled, constrained, like. Yeah. Do you? If you? If you? If have you, you ever sped walk who, like in the airport, like instead yeah. of running? It's hard. But did you see the way they wiggle? I don't feel like that's good for your body. That form. Yeah, that's not like a natch with this. I want. Proper walking. You're slow running. That's an impossible. That's a slow. Like, how do you, that's not a speed walking competition. That's, that's a, a slow, slow running. Who can run the slowest? Yes. Yeah, that is compelling. That's a real hard competition. Yeah. I actually would watch 
who is the slowest runner because I don't know. Yeah, there's just, I just, it's a lot of training for like speed walk, you know, it's like every four years you've been training or like you do like the 10, the 10 second race, the running one, you're training every day for years and years. And then it's like, it all comes down to 10, just, so it's too much work. It's a lot of work. They got to do so much work for the Olympics. They do. And I don't think it pays well. And it's like, I'm a fucking speed walker. I've been training my whole life to be a speed walker. When I was 14 years old, my dad put me in speed walking competitions. <laughs> He had me walking around with the red hat ladies at the mall, the purple hat (laughs) ladies. That was my first train. That was my first foray into speed walking. Right. And then ever since then, I've been training my whole life to win $17,000 at the Olympics. Do you think it's $17,000? They don't make anything. People who win the Olympics make nothing. Really? They make nothing. I think there's a few countries, and which is insane to Who's me. Who's paying out? I the think country? it's the countries, the which Olympics is so stupid. Paid by all the countries should have to throw money into a pool, and then the sports, you know, and then the winners, yeah, win from some Olympic committee. It be com- communism. It shouldn't be each country is 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 defined because. What the, the motivation is wildly different. Why does anyone look at this list? Great, Great Britain and New Zealand and Norway and Swallows. So zero. if you're in if you're in Sweden, you have no fucking reason to want to win yeah, anything. Zero. I guess they have an annual start. What's the highest paying country for like a gold medal? Seven hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So if Hong you're Kong. in Sweden, you're making zero dollars if you win. They get a stipend. So that is very communist. Yeah, but they're sleeping on cardboard beds. You know, but they get, literally they're sleeping well, on cardboard they get paid beds. Here? Thirty-seven thousand here. That's the Swedish stipend. So that is the ultimate socialism. They're all getting paid like they're gold winners, American gold winners, American gold medal award winners. Why is that hard to say? But gold- a stipend is just like they can spend that money while they're there, right? Is it? I think so. That's a lot of money for. Is that like a salary? Like you can annual stipend. Oh, okay. Huh. So if you're in Hong Kong, you can make 770000 I just, I know life isn't all about money, but what could compel, it kind you, of is. What could compel you to work so hard at shot put for even a if you're making, salary? Even if you're, but even if you're in Sweden, you're already getting paid the money, regardless of if you yeah. win anything or not. So you have no reason to even be there. That's super chill. You could just get in the Olympics and then eat your cardboard bed and die. <laughs> Yeah. Versus the person in Hong Kong is living it up. They are they are uh wealthy. Bronze is one ninety two. And then Singapore and Chinese Taipei and Thailand. So it's all these Asian it's the very backwards. The Asian countries are paying out and the Western ones aren't. Yeah. What the fuck? What's going on? I Back mean home. still I, I still think the the U.S. should be paying out more than, what was it, 37000 Yes. That's like a teacher's salary. And it also seems like it should be, pers- you know, there's some work that goes more into, you know, speed walking is. Right. It's, do you think they're kind of like dentists? Speed walkers? <laughs> like maybe a little insecure they're not doctors. Yeah, a little insecure they're not runners. <laughs> yeah. They're not running. They're like. That seems so, I'm sorry, we can stop talking about speed walking, but it just seems very, like, grueling to not just let your legs, the fun part of running is, like, being free. Yeah. So to just be like, it's like. It's got to be bad for your hips. It's got to be bad for your whole body to do that. Do you die early if you're a speed walker? Yeah, speed walkers live, on average, 10 years less. speed walkers live less than, longer than runners? There's probably no data because no one's a speed walker. <laughs> there are some benefits, though. If you got a text from a friend who's like, hey, want to come out and see the speed walking race tonight? It's like, what are you talking Although about? Although I would watch that over running, I will say. So I don't know. It's complicated. It's complicated. Speaking of the Olympics, the, the speaking of people that think, speaking of the world that cares, do you know how many texts I got that are like, congratulations on your, the Olympics are coming to Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, 
like I did something. Or you know what I mean? Congratulations. Like, yeah, that's awesome. It's like like I was listening to NPR. I'm not I don't I it, it, my 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 phone wasn't connecting. I don't I don't want to be like It's okay. You can I don't, no, don't want to be like I was You're listening okay. to NPR. I was it's listening, fine. I was listening to NPR. Okay. Just do Local it. Local NPR. Yeah. And there was like a, but there was a watch party and I think they had to wake up at like six or something. A watch party for what? For announcing where the next Winter Olympics are. And then they were like, it's... People are watch. people are waiting around yes, to yes, find yes. out? Yes, they were in Washington this Square. This is insane. People really watching. care about the Olympics. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So then they like announced like, so likes in their, you know, their funny accents that we love. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, people are just like, yes, yes. Like, I remember when I was here when I was 10, and now I can take my 10-year-old to the Olympic. And I just, I don't, are we curmudgeons? I don't, is this, is this the. To me, I'm just like, oh, people, like, we don't have room for a million people here. Is this the real Olympics coming here? Yeah. Not the Winter Olympics. It's it's still the Olympics. That's not the real Olympics. It is. It's That's not Olympics the real Olympics Junior. Olympic the Winter Olympics aren't the Olympics. Yes, they are. They should have they shouldn't get to have separate Why? Olympics. They're different sports. They should only get one. You can't have you can't have all these seasons. It's just two. You don't have like ladies and gentlemen, the forty seventh summer Oscars. That's not a thing. That might be nice. Maybe no, it wouldn't. You yeah. just need the one. You just need the one. They're, but they're different sports. You can't have the Why? coexist. Where did the Where did the Olympics originate? Greece, presumably. Did they have snow? Did they have skis? Did they have snowboards? Did they have uh, Did they have dog sledding? Did they have What is the one where you just where you just lay down and fall down a tube of luge? ice? Did you Did they have luge? Luge. It's one hundred years old this year. 1924. That's nothing. When were that was made the same time basketball was. They, they, they shouldn't get they to were. have this. How long have the Olympics been going on? 1896. I honestly thought they went back to like the 1200s. The Olympics? Yeah. I thought they were sold. Wait, the Olympics are... The, the actual Olympics or the Winter Olympics? The Summer Olympics, known as the Olympic Games, began in 1896. I thought they were so old. I thought this was a, a human civilization. Yes. I've had visions of the Olympics of like ancient Greece. Gladiators performing yeah. in the Olympics. The Olympics are bullshit. I'm calling it all off. Thank you. <laughs> we're done with the Olympics. Canceled. No more. Yeah, this isn't. Yeah. Fine. You get one Olympics, though. Me, you want summer? That's the only one. But I like uh, fine. It's like Disneyland Paris. Paris. It's Disneyland, sure, but it's not. Yeah, because it's a mean place. Like if you're going to Paris and going to Disneyland, what happened? What happened to you? It feels like a contradictory, yeah, disassociative experience. So you don't need to lose. You don't need to dog what sled. Do you think we why, why is Paris? Aren't they hosting them? Why are they hosting them? They're so mean there. Paris, yeah. And I, France is. I, a, I don't. I. It's the France opposite. is the Canada it's of Europe. It's the opposite of Canada. It's beautiful there. I love how that France is looks. true. Canadians are all nice, but French people. I know they're not. I'm not racist. You but can't I would be love a- to. I have met one nice French person. But overall, they were quite rude, and I'm a very nice person. I'm I, a very pleasant person. I lived in Costa Rica for a little bit, and there was an internet cafe. This is when this is when we didn't have these. I think the Asians still have those. And you would go to an internet cafe to get on the internet, but this like French couple owned the internet cafe oh. in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. And so we would go there, and they were just fucking mean. Really? You, yeah, you'd like walk in and be like, I don't even know how it worked, but it'd be like, I'd like to pay for 10 internet minutes. And they would just be like, of course you would. <laughs> and then they would just be off talking about us. Yeah, they're gossiping. <laughs> Americans, Americans. Americans. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you, you, you can be nice. You can be, you can smile when we walk in. I went to Paris once. 
Renee, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail your experience. You went to Paris. I just am having a memory. I went to a coffee shop of some sort. I went to the bathroom. Paris is... It's bit, New York, London, Paris. Yeah. It's a big... It's one of them. It's a civilized... It's, it's one of the big cities. Hole. Hole in the ground to poo-poo in. In a coffee shop. Wait, are you serious? Yes. I'm not trying to be culturally in, insensitive. Look up Par- uh, Paris bathroom. I went to Paris once. And have the you're, you're, of <laughs> having to poop. You're just talking to ChatGPT about this? Is this real? Did this happen to me? Do they still do that? Oh, shit. Squat toilet or a Turkish toilet? Why do the French have a Turkish toilet? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that is a thing. Turkish squat toilet. Apparently they used to be more common, but they're wising up. And they're getting real toilets. I mean, this is one of the hallmarks of, like, modern civilization. It's just a toilet. Maybe with the Olympics, they're going to have toilets and plumbing now hopefully and, and, and i i don't mean to like shit on the olympics i just i, oh, I mean can. i kind of get it like winning the olympics has got to feel cool because again i'm the best speed walker the i'm the world. i'm the i'm the slowest i'm the slowest the slow runner, runner. <laughs> yeah. it's got to feel good yeah to, to be a winner to win and it's also got to feel good to to have a the podcast. top 1% podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I have news. L- ladies and gentlemen, we have news. Um, hang on, I have to... Oh, thanks. <laughs> How's my tiara? Beautiful. Thank you. You know, do we want? <laughs> do we want to? Ex- do you want to explain? Me? Yeah. Clumsily. Sure. Because that's kind of funny if it's anticlimactic, right? Which is what happens when I talk. Just explain. <laughs> so yes. Oh, it's hard to read. Okay. Just start talking. Yes. Well, because well, we're the top one percent podcast in the world, because ninety percent of podcasts don't make it past their third episode, and ninety percent of those don't make it past their twentieth episode. So that means the top one percent elite podcasts in the world have twenty-one episodes, and this is oh yeah, big times twenty-first episode. <laughs> This is our 21st episode! Why did mine stop work? <laughs> oh no! No! Did anything even come out? Does anything, oh! Do I have to do it? Yes, no, do it! No, I don't want to. Do it! No! Do it! Pull it? Just pull it. Left-handed? Yeah. Only because I'm still... Just pull it out! <laughs> yes! Yours was awesome. Oh, my God. This... <laughs> yeah, it's a little... It's, it's a, a powder. It's a little indoor firework. We bre- <laughs> we're breathing in gunpowder from China right now to celebrate <laughs> our 21st episode. Yeah, we're... That, I'm, I'm really proud of us. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Carlos Blues. We have uh, this is our twenty first episode of yeah. Oh Yeah Big Time. In case you've been watching and wondering why they have all these twenty ones all over the place. Yeah, what a great coincidence that Zurchers has twenty one's birthday. Yeah. We went to Zurcher's to get all of what you see here. Like um, a finally legal pin. 
Yeah, which is a weird thing to celebrate if you're turning 21. Like, adults can finally fuck me. Yeah. Like, like you don't want to sell. You want. Do you want to advertise? At it? 21, you still want, you know, legal. I guess it's weird or 18. Legal, but right? adult. Like, finally legal. Yeah, that's true. But oh, it's alcohol. Yeah. I thought they were. Okay. Oh, you that thought makes it was doodle, doodles and diddles? Yeah, I thought they were. Oh, yeah, put on your beads, dude. Excited to get diddled. <laughs> We're excited because, you know, I yes. don't know. We're so excited. Look how cool you are. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Because um, it's, not, it's not easy having a podcast. It's really hard. And I don't think people, most people don't realize that. Yeah. Well, first of all, it takes a certain kind of person to even do it this. It takes an obnoxious narcissist. Because to think like think about people it. should hear me talk. Yeah, like, and we know we know I'm going through some things. Sure. Coming off some medication, and so on, to be in a mindset of like, I matter and I'm interesting, and people want to hear me and me and my husband <laughs> talk. Talk is a very presumptuous, outrageous thing to feel. Really, like, why would anyone want to listen to you? Well, you had the idea to start Oya Big Time. I did. And we were... On a rooftop. We were on a after rooftop. After you got rabies. After I got rabies. And you were like, let's start a podcast. Yeah. And uh, and then in, in this Airbnb, I made the theme song that you now know as... That's true. So. Yeah. I like your look. Can you just try to keep that on? Sure, yeah. This is nice. I don't... Like, yeah. We're just... Because a lot of podcasts are consistent and reliable. I would say they're not consistent quality, though. We're not, not that we're, it just, it's hard because we don't want to put out garbage. So then we can't record every week. You do have to be, it's like going out to hang out with friends. Yeah. You got to be in a certain mood. Because you got to be, you can't just have an episode come out and have our, you know, our many, many listeners, our many Gen Z listeners listening. Like last weekend, all I did was lay down. Yeah. It was great. That was abnormal for you. So, like, that. So, you can't record. You can't record. It's like, I would rather be napping. And that's what we're talking about now. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so we have to be in a certain mood. Yeah. To do that. So, you're, you're welcome. And, you know uh, what I mean? And we get in here when we can. And we realize that, you know, not everyone's waiting on pens, pens and nattles for us. <laughs> But uh, I got yeah, I got to take these off. I can't it's see. It's pretty anything. tough. Well, it feel take them off. You're gonna feel like you just like you you've gained vision for the first time. Wow! Amazing. I'm keeping them on. All right. Should I take them off? No, well, you, I look you stupid can keep if you're not wearing them. No, uh, fine. I'll put them back. No, up. you don't have to. I'm not trying to bully you. That's harder for you because you have a big head. Excuse you. Just. Tighter on you. I do have a giant head. Um, all those brains and wit. But yeah, so if we're, you know, we're not super consistent, but we're here for we're you. We're here and we're in the top 1% podcast in the world. Yeah. How many podcasts have 21 episodes? <laughs> Us and two others. I think 20,000. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So thanks for listening to our, to our episode. We should just end it because we just had a bang. Can you believe I pulled the thing? That was amazing. I pulled two of them. I know. And fear, and I overcame my fears. I might have to take this off. Take it off. Particularly the tiara. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is all from Zurchers. It was made uh, with no care. Can you believe, someone's job is to make this. Yeah. We're the only one, because there's no, like, hot 21-year-old that's, right? Like, no one's ever bought these. No. They're like... Who? Yeah, they're very alarmed that someone bought the finally legal pack. So yeah, so we are among the top podcasts in the world, in, as far as number of podcasts. Not quality. Not quality. Not in terms of accuracy. Not listenership. Not in terms of most metrics. But but the number of episodes. I would say we're in the top one percent, one percent of audio quality. That is true. We're so, up there. Yeah. And video's close. Yeah. So. So. Um, yeah. But since the since the last time, I mean, it, it's a lot's happened. It's been the, the 4th of July. 
Uh, a lot has happened <laughs> in the politics land. Yeah. Uh, personally, we you, you may have recalled that I, I, we were looking for a 1990s Chevrolet Tahoe. Yes. And it, I'd and call around why? and people would be like, uh, excuse you, what do you, why would you want this? Mm -hmm. Finally, another one popped up. Yes. Called, went to go check it out. We get there and just like, you have a 99 Tahoe and I want to take a look at it. And the guy's like, and do you have a pen or something? He's like, he's like, oh, is that, uh, is that all you came here for? And it's like, yes, I'm looking for the 99 Tahoe. He's like, is there any like reason why you would want that? And it's like, I just want the just like let's look at the I Tahoe. Not like your dream client. Well, mine is like I'm I want the cheapest car here, but like right. someone coming in wanting to buy something without any, you know what I mean? I'm I'm a dream. Yeah. Appreciate me. Let us get the Tahoe. Yeah, let us go see our mama. So finally we did. We looked at it and another thing to celebrate, we have a Tahoe. <laughs> So we did get the Tahoe. It was a great price because uh, it was dirty inside. It was dirty inside. The seats are very torn. The carpets are stained with M and M's and Big Macs. You were you've been steaming them out. I steamed them, and it's just black. Just soaking up. No black matter soot how many stuff. times. But once that's clean, it's uh, otherwise in mechanically great condition. So got a good deal. Great deal on Mama Tahoe. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, I do think it's... I hate going to a dealership. Yes. They're just... They're all looking at you, they're trying praying to... praying on you. It's just like, back off. Yeah. Show me the goddamn me Tahoe. Let me look at it. And then leave me alone. Mm-hmm. But then, of course... So, the guy, he has, we have to sign up. He's, like, walking us through. So, at, at car... At car auto... At car torium... <laughs> Whatever this was. And yeah. he's like flipping through this like brochure. Why we are thing. different. It's, a, it's like Cartorium, we have a 797,000 point inspection on every vehicle. <laughs> and we have financing that's great for you. And we have. We've already told you we want to buy We it. just want to buy the goddamn car. Don't put car. us through the real life PowerPoint presentation. And he brings out all these forms we have to sign. And it's yeah. like. We, we're paying up front for the Tahoe, so I don't know why we're having to sign all this stuff. It's too much work. But then he's having to, like, write down Yeah. Things. That's what took so long, is writing our names. Writing is hard. It is. I understand his struggle. And this kid's, like, Gen, Gen Z. An elder Gen Z, but a Gen Z at a that. A statesman. And... If we can't write, he definitely can't he write. He can't write. Like, he's, like, very shaky. I like. mean, he's holding the pen in his hand, like, <laughs> yeah. like just tight and just, like, can't, he Why can't write. Just type it, for Christ's sake. Yeah. It's kind of scary if our kids are going to be writing cursive just to make sure. No cursive. We don't need that. But just write. <laughs> you can write normal. Yeah. And learn how to do that. But even I, myself, because I write so seldom, when I do go to write, I'll like I leave. I get cramps. I get cramps. I leave out letters in the middle of yeah, words. Yeah, you leave out substantial amounts of letters. Yeah. I'll just, like, my mind gets it's ahead like of my hand. It's texting that's just not right. using autocorrect. It needs to save some characters. I, it's, my mind gets ahead of my hand. So it's yeah. just like, finish the word, dude. You don't need that A. You don't need all the letters that make the word what makes the word. So writing is hard, but, yeah, uh, but we, we did. He finally finished the forms. He finished the forms. We got the Tahoe. Yeah. Needs a few things. We did go to a junkyard. My first junkyard. We went on a junkyard date. Yes. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> Can't sound good in the ear holes, can it? Well, just don't listen. Um, <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> turn this off. Uh, yeah, we we went to a junkyard. We date. went to a junkyard. I didn't know what to expect. I was kind of nervous. I I've been so I've been going to junkyards for a bit. Yeah. And I was really when you said, uh, "Can I come?" and I was like so excited because every time I'm there, I want you to to come there and experience uh. it. 
It's a fun, it's the closest we can get to being in a like post apocalyptic world. It was kind of spooky. Just wandered around. It didn't help. It was started to rain. It was very overcast. I started to fear zombies, kind of. Yeah. Just because it just seemed, you know, I mean, it's all this everywhere. old stuff. There's broken glass. There's so much and... glass. Why is there so much broken glass? What's going on? It's a junkyard. But people aren't taking out the glass. Are people just smashing glass? Can I go there and smash glass? Oh, I bet you could. Oh, oh that's nice. I mean, for three dollars instead of those. You can probably only do it rooms. like one time. Yeah. Because then they'll come up. They're going to get suspicious. If you're just walking up to every car with a baseball bat. What, one time per session? But one time per session, if you bust out a back window, oops. If I happen to kick one while I'm trying to unscrew the carpet. Yeah. All right. You're just like wandering around. You're opening doors and stuff, taking stuff. It's kind of a haunted, it's a weird mixed feelings because I'm happy to see recycling, right? You know, things being repurposed. But then it's like... So butchered, and that's just a like, it's just a mishmash of shit, and it's raining, and I'm like thinking about these interiors getting so grody with all the rain. And, yeah, and they do, yeah. But we had a movie moment. So one thing, because these these cars are just sitting, because these cars are just <laughs> sitting around for God knows how long, and that gives time for nature to to do something. Reside. So. Not your bowels. That sounds like you don't need We're like walking through and I open a door because I'm like interested in this truck. So I open the door and then I feel like a go by my ear. I'm like, oh God. And then I, another one. Then I, and then, and then all of a sudden you. It was like the movie. You saw what was going on. I didn't see what was going on. He had disturbed a whole. Wasp's nest. I disturbed a wasp. Ne- yeah, a wasp nest. A wasp's nest while he was walking through the doors, and you know you see that in the movies. And uh, uh, I yelled in you a public yelled. place. Yeah, and I was like, "Run!" <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things in the movies that like people yell, and you're like, "No one would actually no say yell." Run! <laughs> but you did. I couldn't think of any. I couldn't think of what wasps were called or anything, and I was just. I, I, I yelled in you public. Just, and I did. I ran. You did. <laughs> it turned into a horror movie for not very long, but kind of. It was exhilarating. It was terrible. It was and, terrible for you. And one kind of stung my I ear. Know. I mean, that's why I have this bandage here. Yeah, because you just got to protect his little wheel. Because it kind of it's kind of stung the back of my ear. You've been having a bad wasp time. I you got, got stung yeah. on your leg. I got stung on my foot. You kicked your shoe off into the I sky. kicked my flip-flop to the moon and back. <laughs> It hurts so bad. It's great f- security footage, though. But I, it it these wasps. For you. First of all, what is the difference between a wasp, a hornet, and a bee? Why can't they all just agree to be the same thing? They're like Canada. I t- just be part of us. Yeah. Just all be bees. I took a picture of poop the other day. I won't show it on the screen. Not my poop. Dog. What are you talking about just right hold now? On. <laughs> I've been meaning to show you this, and my mom almost saw you. Did somebody, like, eat a bunch of wasps and shit them out? No, but I can't search poop on my... Hold on. This is important. This is actually, like, not, like, funny. This is actually disgusting. But just, it's a video, so hit play. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, this is awful. But it's all black. What the fuck is that? It's a wasp that's pitch black. And it's in the poop. Yeah. It was guarding the poop. I couldn't pick up the poop. Maybe it was sweet. But have you seen that before? A wasp in poop? No, all black wasp. Uh, I've heard of them. Really? Yeah. What happened? Remember in like 2020 or something when there was a girl, the little wasps were going to get us? Yeah, what were those? What were those? What were those wasps? And why didn't it happen? Yeah, the murder hornets... Did that pan out to be a big problem? The, the murder world? hornets? No. Really? We were all like, the murder so hornets just are coming. sensationalized because I was scared. That was back when panic fear was the news. Yeah. COVID's going to kill you. It's not the murder bad. hornets are going to kill you. There's earthquakes. Yeah. Everything was bad, but I think the murder hornets are fine. I'm so sorry I just showed you a picture of dog poop. Oh, it's okay. It I, what you should turd. be sorry for is uh, recording that video. 
Um, I am, but I'm, that, does, does that mean something that I want to share my life with you, even if it's it's very I, shit? no. I I am not grossed out. I'm fine. I'm grossed out. But yeah, murder hornets never. I don't think that became a thing. Huh? It was very scary for a minute. Yeah, and the locusts are always threatening. It's always locusts and cicadas. Yeah, it's cicadas. very biblical. And it's like, okay, enough. And then it is going to happen, and it's going to be... Did the cicadas happen? I don't know. Wasn't it supposed to be convergence of all three yeah, like, The whole world's going to be eaten by cicadas. Yeah. We're still here, motherfuckers. Haven't heard anything about it yeah. since. So stop it. Stop it with all the spooky, you know? Yeah. Stop trying to scare us. But I had a great time at the junkyard. At the junkyard, yeah. Then I was thinking on the way home, we were we were driving home on a road we've taken so many times. But you know when you're like... You just kind of zone out. Yeah, and you're like, I've never looked... I've taken this road so many times, I've never looked at it. And one day you, you pass it, you're like, there's a Long John Silvers here? What, yeah. Where did that come from? Like, has this building always been here? So I was just thinking through... This happens to me on planes a lot, you know, when you, when you fly down and you start seeing the cars and they look like little ants... On a little land highway, and you're like, oh, every every car has someone in it, and they matter to me and the world and themselves, and they're the main character. But mostly themselves. Mostly, I don't care. I, I can't. And that's fine. But they're like they met, they have a storyline and relationships and feelings, and like they know every, someone that died. Every person you see is the main character in their own story. They're as important as you are to them. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they, yeah, they have memories, and they and they have they want things to happen. Trauma. They have goals. They have poops. And they have uh, dog poop in the backyard with hornets or wasps guarding the poop. It's kind of a wild thought, but I had that thought because we drove past. Um, I guess we live by a mannequin warehouse. We live by a mannequin warehouse. So it's like someone goes to work, and no, like no judgment. It's just my life. My life is so different. What is it to wake up every day to go to the mannequin warehouse? Because everywhere you work has drama. It's true. So, like, what is mannequin warehouse drama like? You know what I mean? Like, what goes down at the warehouse? Right. Like, like Martha gets to work and and Janine bum rushes her and she's like, Bob put the T-400s in the sultry pose. <laughs> and Martha's like, the sultry pose on a T-400? <laughs> And Martha's like, <laughs> it's like he wasn't even thinking. It's like this whole, this whole you can't world. Put those of, in the sultry pose. You can't put a T four hundred in a sultry like, pose. But they can't fire him because he's like the boss's daughter. What? They like they know all these <laughs> they know all these model numbers yeah, and there's like and there's a shortage there's this somewhere. Whole, this whole there's this whole etiquette around posing, on, but yeah, every single oh, workplace has a drama. And you drive by these buildings and people people go to work there every day. Do you want to see what it looks like? What. It's a mannequin rental warehouse. Sure. This is what it looks like. Oh my god damn. So wait, really? this is is this the one by us? Yeah. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. We're just watching movies with mannequins. <laughs> uh, what is that? What is this? What is <laughs> the okay. What? This is like some Epstein shit. Don't yeah, this doesn't make any sense. There is. Can you paint the picture? To I feel like. I'm so if you're just listening to audio, this. if you're if you're listening to audio, I strongly encourage you to watch this on YouTube because what the fuck is going on? There is like behind this mannequin warehouse is <laughs> like an inflatable theater tent outside with torch lighting and what appears to be rows of seats filled with mannequins but i think there's some people and some people watching a movie together but there's a mannequin on the stage to the right of the projector and then there's a mannequin in the foreground on the right Jeez. yeah it's like in a witch hat good god oh here's another angle what the hell is this so there's more mannequins is that a dj booth to the right what is there's just a mannequin at the DJ booth. Like, there's like three people here, and they're outnumbered by mannequins, and it's a watch party. I don't know what they're watching. Like, the first, the picture above this. Good. Like, 
okay, I own a, I own like a, an, an athleisure mm-hmm. apparel store and I need mannequins. They so look like quality mannequins. I'm going to come look at these mannequins. The one above this, not normal. No. I need a, I need an entire ballroom filled with wed mannequins. Like, what are people doing to these? You know what I mean? So People are having thoughts. Definitely there's drama. Not me. No. But yeah, like, someone has to set up all these things, and they're getting mad at Bob pull, pulling the T-400 in the sultry pose. We yeah. don't even know about it. Yeah. Like, ever. You know what I mean? Like somebody's like, I'm going to apply to work. At, what's the name of that place? The Mannequin Rental Company. I'm going to apply to work at the Mannequin Rental Company. Yeah. I have a passion for mannequins. Right. Or they probably don't, but then they learn to maybe. But there's like so many parts. I mean, this is not, but so many, it's like the economy functions because there's so many parts of people doing jobs that are like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, like you gotta have mannequins. You gotta have mannequins. And you gotta have somebody selling the mannequins. And you gotta have people arguing about how they're gonna be posed. What do you think the sultry pose is like? Well, What's just, your most sultry pose? <laughs> I won't make you just leaning pose. sexily on something. Sexily. Yeah. I guess it's not true that everyone's working or Well, not everyone's working, but every place that you Pass while you're driving. Somebody works Someone there. Someone works there and is their life. There's like some medical imaging office building. That's not even where they do the imaging. Yeah. It's like some offsite building where they just process they paperwork. Have paperwork. It's and you paperwork drive by this paperwork. building and they're, they're, yeah. That's their life. Somebody works there. So. Meanwhile, you have these billionaires work. Why are they working? That's the question. If you make over. Not even high. Five million dollars. If you make more than five million dollars, why are you working? Stop working. Like, what is wrong with you? I, and I get it. This. You're like, oh, my mind, my mind races when I'm sitting still. Then go take up a hobby and do something fun. Right. Like, why you got to keep working? Like, how? Why don't Bezos and Musk just team up and buy America, buy the country? They could buy the whole country. I don't do, know what that looks like, but. They do could. it. Do something fun. They could start a new government just because they bought us. Like. They don't if, know how to spend their money. They have no idea what Elon's they could do. Like, if you're a billionaire and you haven't bought every single billboard in the United States and, and put a little picture of a rat wearing a bra <laughs> and a speech bubble that says, scratch my rat nip, scumbag. What are you saying to me? What? Then why do you have this money? <laughs> Every billboard, rat wearing a bra, scratch what? my rat nip, scumbag. <laughs> and that's what everything says, because you can do that. Why? Is that what your brain... When so, you, when just you, just thought, well, you just thought, if I had all the resources in the world... Just do something so, We fun. could probably do at least one of those. We could probably do a billboard that says that. Why don't they do that? I get what you mean. Buy every though. single ad slot on every single channel in every city. Buy them on Hulu. Buy them on YouTube. Buy them on any kind of syndicated <laughs> internet news slot with a... Just a big fat guy sitting on a green screen. Nothing actually projected on. He's just a it's fat a guy screen. sitting in a lounge chair on a green screen, pouring dinty more beef stew onto his body. Oh. And he's, just saying, and he's just saying, and he just says, I'm running out of steam. And then it cuts. <laughs> and that's every commercial. That's every commercial. He just want an aroused America. Yeah. Arousing Dinty more beef. It's like, why is every billboard scratch my rat nip scumbag (laughs) and every video commercial is a guy pouring Dinty more beef stew on his naked body? This is the world of that mannequin photo. That's the darkness that I feel when you say that. But why wouldn't you exercise your power for just to fuck with, you know what I mean? Why would you not do that? Instead, like Elon Musk has all these like dad issues. So he has like a tiny house in Austin because he doesn't want it because his kids hate him because he's a billionaire. He's like, dude, just go. They wouldn't hate you if you were a billionaire if you did cool shit with your money. Shut down Tesla. Shut down the boring company. Shut down the space rockets. Billboards. 
billboards. Yeah, billboard baggins everywhere. Yeah. Hell, some of them could say that. Billboard baggins. <laughs> you just That's like, why I always hate, yeah. I watch the Kardashians and, and it's just like, how many cars? No one's creative with their money. They're just buying flashy shit. Right. Oh, and that's it. Yachts? They're buying yachts. Why are they buying yachts? They're buying yachts. Like, can I... Don't get me started on yachts. Yachts are like... That's some 80s rich bullshit. And they that's, still do it. That's back when, like, you just... If you had a lot of money, you bought a yacht. Because it was novel. It's like, well, I can live on a... There's no reason to be on a yacht. There's no reason. Unless you're like... Diddling... Because what people other reason, who you shouldn't? Yes, yes. Unless you're diddling who you shouldn't diddle. Because what else could be the allure of being at sea, confined, with no amenities? With people like bringing you hors d'oeuvres. People, yeah, stuck with people. You can't leave the people you're around. Why would you want to be on why, a yacht? Why would you do that? Go get an island. I get an island. Get an island. I get an island. I guess that's what Epstein did. Yeah, he got. Yeah. He did it right. Did he have a yacht? Uh, I think he, he just flew the plane. He probably should have, because Scientologists did that, and, right? There's, like, international law, or so it gets very murky. So, if you have a yacht, you're, you've done something. If you have a yacht, bad. you're up to no good. You're up to illicit behavior. And not even fun kind, just bad kind. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just. We would uh, have so much fun if we had unlimited resources. If we had a billion dollars, like, just we quit our jobs, we would just make awful billboards. I would fix the world with my portion, and I would just ruin and the you. world with mine. <laughs> and I'd buy, I'd buy Canada. Yeah. Because and if, force them to. If you gave can, if you gave Canada a billion dollars, you said we're just going to take this. He'd be like, okay, okay, we're okay. That's your goal? Yeah. You made it because you don't have a billion dollars. You're going to force them to segregate or what? No, I would just force them to join us because they're such great people and we want them to be yes, part of our team. We love them. It's not because we hate them. Yeah. We don't have a problem with them. No. How could we? <laughs> so, yeah. What else is. We. Uh, we're. Me. Thinking about trying for a baby eventually. We're preparing for a baby. Let me try saying that. We're thinking about having a child. <laughs> no, <together>. I like <laughs> What's wrong with my version? Um It keeps yeah. you on edge. Yeah. Like what is she saying? Yeah. But yeah, we we've talked about this as a married couple and a family. And which we don't want to die alone. The pro so technically, like we are a family. But not really. Yeah, I hate when married couples call themselves family. We're a couple. Yeah. But we're not a family. We're not a family. I guess dogs. They don't count. Dogs are family. So we're not a family. Yeah. But to be a family, you got to have at least one child you who's a human. Produce one. Uh, so that's what we're going to try for. Eventually. I don't know how they do this, but we're going to read some books. And we're going to see how we can make a child. See what happens. Yeah. Step one had to, that's fine to talk about. I had an yeah. IUD. And it took it. God. Which is an explosive device. Yeah. <laughs> They're easy to mix up, those acronyms. They are, yeah. I They're too close. ED? IUD? Yeah. Boy, that thing's been in there for a long time. I you know can't believe I mean? they do that. I they can't just believe stick a little pe a plastic Jesus cross inside and you. And it works. And then that works. Yeah. And what I'm the fuck? like, I'm so awkward. I hate, because I'm just, I am a closed clam <laughs> at the gynecologist. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? It's, it's a horrible experience, because she's like, come closer. And then I'll go like this much closer down. Why didn't she just get in there? Because I got to get towards the edge. Why do you have to get towards the edge? I don't know. It's a well. There's a mix of not going down far enough, but then also not opening my legs far. Cause okay. Because they got it. You shouldn't have to come down. Yeah. You should be able to lay down anywhere, and they should come. No, come, I gotta keep scooching. Come fucking hunting down. Me like five times, and God, it's. I cannot believe no. I, no, there should be no men OBGYNs. No men OBGYNs. Like, 
If you're a man and you're an OBGYN, you just want to touch a bridgitis. You've got problems. Okay. And I know probably the most of the, you know, the situations that you encounter as a gynecologist probably are not wonderful. But yeah. that's not what you're in it for. Right. You're in it for the few dimes, you know, <laughs> that come through. Those couple, yeah. So, and also OBGYN, gynecologist. There is a difference. What do you mean? There's a difference. Between an OBGYN and a gynecologist? What's the difference? I don't know, but I scheduled the, the wrong one once. I think one's for babies or something. Is a gynecologist for babies? No. OBGYN's for I babies. I think you want the OBGYN. For babies. I think so. Compl- so many syllables. For and OBGYN or gynecologist? Both of them. Yeah. That's a lot of syllables. And for, 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 for gynecologists, you're already so close. Just call it a vaginecologist. Yeah. You're right there. You're right there. Yeah. I've never thought. I'm just. Oh, right. Just blew my mind. Gyne- It'd be a like if a if a penis doctor, which doesn't exist, probably. It probably does. Was called a. A. a nis. A niscologist. Just call it a penisologist. Are you looking up if there's a penis doctor? <laughs> no. Is there? Oh, just a urologist, but that goes, that can't, that's just not. That covers not, both. That's just not penises, though. Right. They got to have a specialist. But yeah, just vaginecologist. You're already right there. Just, just, just do it. Yeah. So we did that, got that out. Um, what else have we been tapering off the, I'm off my medication. <laughs> That's been a treat for everybody. Yes. Yes. I have barely noticed. Coincidentally, we have not podcasted since I quit my medication because I have been in a... But now things are... <laughs> now things are stable fine. Stable and great. They're fine. Yeah, and it's hard because I'm... Whole, I Like, I... Hold myself to a pretty high standard. I'm gonna be a vessel of life, so I'm like really anxious about it. And doctors are much more, much more chill, like different standards. Doctors don't give They're a like, fuck. They're like keep taking Adderall. I'm like I'm not gonna keep taking Adderall with this baby. That's got to affect the gonna baby. Gonna come out a meth addict, yeah. Right. And they're just like super. So it's. I'm always asking questions, and this, I can tell they're sick of my questions. Just take the Adderall. Yeah. Take a prenatal vitamin in the Adderall, and the baby will be perfect. <laughs> Basically, they're like, just keep eating what you eat. If you exercise, fine, whatever. Then I was asking about the sauna, and I phrased it so weird. I was asking, like... Like, it, the sauna while pregnant, or...? Yeah, like, can I... Well, yeah, what do, they, what do they say about saunas and pregnancy? You know, it's something. And then he's like, well, I think they do it in the Nordic countries, but here we don't recommend it, you know? And I was like, oh, yeah, you wouldn't want to bake the bean burrito. Like I don't know. I just say things. Are you talking about my pee? My your, pee? your bean burrito? <laughs> your little, what are you talking? Do you think he thought I was talking about your bean burrito? <laughs> what was his reaction? Uh, is that everything? Bye. He like hung up on me after I said that. He gave me a play like, huh. And then he was was like, bye. Wait, are you talking about the baby or my... (laughs) Just just the baby. Okay. My baby bean burrito. Okay. So that would be very different. Yeah. Because what would that be like for him if he thought I was talking... Maybe that's why he ended the conversation, because... He's like... Does she not know how... Her husband has a dick the size of a (laughs) bean burrito. Is it full of beans? And where do they think the sperm is? In the the burrito. (laughs) The sperm is kept in the penis and just comes out. <laughs> Maybe that's why he hung up on me because he's like, I don't want to deal with this bean burrito situation. Yeah, I would for sure. I don't know what. Does to she do. think? Does she think the the cum is in the penis at all time? I gotta go. He did too, man. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why I can't just talk like a normal person and be like, thank you for the information. And so I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't want to bake the bean burrito in the oven. Like, right. God, insufferable. Got to get rid of me sometimes, you know? But 
I don't know. But can you sauna with a baby? Um, the Nords do, but he agreed when I said you don't want to bake the bean burrito. So. Yep, uh, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, talk, talking about having a kid. Yeah. Then you start to realize there's all these things you have to think about. And so we're not going to be those people who are just talking about parenting. But yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, it's like, you know, you're looking at cradles. Yeah. What kind of cradle do we get? There's smart cradles. There are. And there's multiple smart cradles. And Which, they have the, they some mean, of the camera way. built in. And some of them have little speakers that play, you know, little birds. Some something. move this way, some move that way. Yeah, they move different ways. Yeah. Which way is optimal? Yeah. So you start, you're thinking about all these things. Obviously, you're thinking about what are you going to name the That's damn the thing? That's number one thing you think of. So naming a child is... What is What do you name a what person? in a name? What do you say you're going to name a person? It's the biggest decision of your life. It is. More than having the child. Right. Yeah. So then I find I'm you know I'm looking around like on Reddit, what are the popular kid names? Because you don't want to name your kid a popular name mm, mm, mm. because then that name it's like I said with like Elon Musk and designing Teslas. Like if it looks like now, yeah. now is going to leave. Yes. If your baby name sounds like now, now is going to leave. It should sound like always. Yes. So I was like looking at uh, Reddit for baby names, and I came across uh, this subreddit, which I still it's like. Here, it's called, I'm sending, did you get that? Yes. It's called trag, tragedies, tragedy. Tragedy? <laughs> That's not tragedy. Tragedy. Uh, okay, they spelled it, yeah. T-R-A-G-E-D-E-I-G-H, right? <sighs> yeah, so this is, okay, that makes, so this is a subreddit, tragedy spelled wrong. Okay. Because is it? Because this whole subreddit is about spelling names poorly. So yeah, this, so this tragedy. So this is where people come to like complain about names that are spelled wrong. I love that my brain is wired from growing up in Utah to read that as tragedy. Yeah, you and you're got like, that tragedy is the tragedy. Yeah, I feel very proud of this skill. So we ran across this, uh, and this is what I don't want to do. So this woman is posting in the tragedy subreddit. My husband has been obsessed with this name since before we started having children, and he will not let it go no matter what I tell him. I think the name is basically painting a target on a back, on a kid's back, and no one will take them seriously. My husband thinks it's a cute name and will start a naming trend. The name? Mips. Mips. M I P S Mips. He's also optioning Mipsy. M I P S I E. Yes, he's serious. No, I cannot convince him no matter what I say that it's a terrible name. So I told him I'd post it here to see the general consensus. Consensus. So Mipsy. So there have been responses to this post. And the author has edited their original posts oh. with the following notes. Number one, I will not be divorcing my husband over this. So jot that down. So people are trying to get her to divorce Leave her husband. Leave this man. He's terrible judgment. He it's going to spread into your whole child's life. It's he wants to flag. name his kid Mips. It sounds insignificant, but it could be a red flag for a divorce. Just, just saying. You know? I think it's terrible. Yes. So, yeah, this is what, what you don't want to do. You don't want to name your kid Mips. Mips? It's like we make fun of you know, Mitt Ron. Like, we call them Mitts. Or right. Like mit, mit, mittens. Can you imagine a grown-ass, or like a teen? Can you imagine, be, imagine being you again? You can just hate someone for having Mips. that name. You're allowed, if somebody has the name Mips, you're allowed to just hate them. Just like you hate the land. Of the land. Canada. <laughs> where Canadians live, not the people. No. Uh, it's but you like, can hate a Mips. It's like Minkus from Boy Meets World. Yeah. You just hate him. You can, you're not violent, but you could punch him. You could. Because it's you could, Mips. You, so you don't want to do that to your what kid. What are other names on? So this is just a subreddit of like what not to do. Yes, mainly, yeah. 
Hold on. Let me. Can I read this one? Ah, uh, sure. My sister is having a boy. She's naming him Ghostin. It's her friend's nickname who overdosed on fentanyl at her house. Which is sad, but she and her boyfriend used to be addicted as well. I was honest when I first told it, when I was first told it and said it was an interesting name. She claims everyone else loves the name except for my mom and I. One day that kid is going to ask where his name came from and I'm embarrassed for the poor kid. They want to raise him to be a skater. My sister doesn't even skateboard. They want to raise him to, to be, be a, a skater? skater? That's how you get the Olympics. That's what I'm talking about with the Olympics. Like, this kid's already going to be a skater. He doesn't even want to be. A skater named Ghost. <laughs> Ghostin. Ghostin. E-N. Okay. Ghostin. Ghostin the skater. Go Like, what? Stop it. That should be illegal. You yes. can't do that. You can't there name your kid no Ghostin. There's no legal repercussions for naming your kid a shit name. And there should be because you're deciding their whole fate. Yeah. I think, you I don't know who resume? said it, but like, if your kid kills someone, mm. you as the parent should be legally right. responsible for the murder. Yes. And I agree with that. Absolutely. And that ties in with the name. And just like with the name. Mips. If was... you name your kid Mips and he gets made fun of, <laughs> yourself. I'm, I did not say that. <laughs> he didn't say I'll that. I'll bleep that out. Yes. But also... Like, he's, he's going to be up against another person for a job, and they're going to be like, oh, is it Mips Williams? Yeah, do I do I hire Adams? Do I add a, add a Adam Simpson? Do, hang on. <laughs> do I hire Adam Simpson or Mips Williams? Who are you going to trust? Who sounds like they want to be on a yacht? Hey, did you get that resume that I forwarded you for Mips? <laughs> yeah, uh, good one. I know. I thought that was hilarious. That's that's what happens well, when Ghostin? you send Mips his resume. What about Ghostin? Ghostin's like, well, what? I have a unique name. Where'd my name come from? Oh, it's from a dead fentanyl addict. Oh, it's the nickname of my mom's dead fentanyl addict friend who OD'd. Like what? I don't believe in like curses. <laughs> But are you cursing? That's a curse. You know what I mean? Is he tied to the dead friend? The dead, ironically, ghost? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if his name was Ghost, that would be cooler than Ghostin. You could be a ghost skater. I'm not naming our child Ghost. Thank you. I saw your eyes and you're like, no. What is a seed being planted? I just feel like you're going to get made fun of as a kid no matter what for yeah. something. Because kids only have so much ammunition, and so your name, like, names will always be made fun of. Because right. there's only so much to work with. Yeah. So, like, you have to be very thoughtful in your names and your initials. Because I grew up with Your job as a parent is to minimize... Torture. ...the things that, that, that will bring ridicule yes. to your kid, as best as you it can. It will inevitably come. Sure. But you have to do everything in your power to not... Have Mips Williams. Right. For Christ's sake. Like what it like what did you get made fun of as a kid for? Me? My hands. Your hands? Yeah. I have so few memories from my childhood, but there's we had to dance. Why did we have to dance in fourth grade? I don't know. We were in a they made you, yeah, they made we you were dance in a trailer. In and someone was assigned to me and he didn't want to because he didn't like my hands. He said I had dry gross hands. So did you? Yeah. But now, now I, that scarred me from dancing forever. But you notice I don't dance. You don't dance, yeah. And I don't She can't. You don't even dance to, like, have fun. <laughs> I don't dance. I don't even know who that kid was. I didn't even have a crush on him, but he crushed me. And I have, like, I can't even shake hands with people because I'm just always thinking about my grody ass dying dry, hands. Your dry hands. Because of this child. But how much worse would it have been if he said... Hey, Mips. If he said... <laughs> I don't want to dance with you. You have dirty, you have gross, dry hands, Mipsy. <laughs> yeah, worse. Way worse. Way worse. Also, the cross-eyed. That's why I can't do those stereoscopic videos. Someone told me I look cross-eyed, so then I, I'm i incapable of being cross-eyed yeah, now. I just pointed the opposite yeah. direction. Yeah. Do, would you, do you, you said you were pretty, you, you had a hard time. I mean, I didn't have a hard time. I got made fun of a lot. Like you handled it well, but. I never really, I didn't, I truly never really cared. You I got made fun heart. of quite a bit. For what? Like being a fat, four-eyed, fat, 
four-eyed fat kid <laughs> being oh. ugly. Uh, ugly? Yeah. No. I got called ugly and fat really? and four-eyed. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but you were cute. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I went through some pretty righteously ugly phases. <laughs> I'll see pictures of myself as a kid, and I'll be like, wow, I was a cute kid. And then, like, a few later, it's like, holy fuck. I can't believe my parents kept me. I look like I got trampled by mules. <laughs> you do have some variants, I would say. I did also get made fun of for having uh, weird... When my, when my facial hair... This is later on. I wasn't like a little kid anymore. But when my facial hair first started coming in, it like... It, it looked like it was just mold. Mold. It just, it was like this weird, like seafoam green color. Really? And it it just looked like mold. Did it have the, the texture of, of a mold? No, it was hair, like but from afar, mold? but from like 10 feet away, it was like, what's on your was face? Was it actually green? It looked green. Really? There's pictures of it, yeah. Fine. I didn't know what happened. Oh my God. But, so that was weird. So they call you like mold boy? Mold, mold face? Yeah. Get, out, get out of here, mold face. <laughs> Um, oh, your wasp is unprotected. Your, your oh, ear is in harm's way. Fuck. <laughs> That's good. There you go. How is it now? Check. Yes. My bandage is good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oof. You had mold hair. Yeah, but other than that, you know, you get made fun of as a kid, then you get up, then you grow up and you I don't mean to minimize. I feel like I have minimized bullying. What do you mean? Because I'm... Cause, cause people get really ruthlessly bullied. I, I just, I don't. Know. I had internal bullying. I wasn't bullied. Now it's, it's I'm like, I feel like a privileged, non-bullied child. But I did. I, you I, were. I mean, you were made fun. I am. I was bullied. I was straight up bullied. Girls were mean to because I didn't groom myself. See, girls were mean to me, but boys weren't really mean to me. So I'm, but it's fine. Like you're gonna get bullied as a kid. People who are like, know, no one can get bullied. It's like. Bullying's good. Yeah, but some of them are like real gnarly. Sure, you don't want to like. I think violence is bad. Some people are. But you know things I read. Sometimes when I go on those teenage subreddits, my God, ruthless. We're gonna have to kill some children. Yeah, I mean, if the if, our, if our, our kid children. if our kid gets bullied, I'm be like, you can't worry about that. Just get over it. But if it's like super mean, I'm gonna like have to regulate. Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. We'll see. You're fine, and you're bullied, so you know. So everyone be everyone just be fine. Nobody has feelings. No one can be sad. Yeah. Because I wasn't. Because you can turn it off like Diggy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I there's there's I don't like miss being bullied. <laughs> you don't, you're but not it's fine. not. It doesn't haunt me. I never think about it. Yeah. And when I like. When this comes up, it's not like my heart pounds and yeah. I get sweaty. You're just like, I was fat with mold on I was my fat face. With, I was a fat, mold-faced, four-eyed fuck. Yeah. So, and then I grew up. Yeah. And you're fine. Now I'm less of those things. You're good. I still have contacts. So. Oh, not four-eyed anymore. Yeah, I mean, overall, I like, yeah, I liked being a kid. I wouldn't say that I'm like obsessed with. Ne- what I do like is these. Uh, what are they? The liminal space videos. Liminal. Liminal space. Liminal. I'll be scrolling through like TikTok or Instagram Reels, and there's just these liminal space videos How with like is- haunting music and these visuals of the mid '90s. What does the word liminal mean? It's the space between. What reality? So I don't know. Oh. What does uh, what does hang on? I don't mean to derail you. I just what I'm does a little l- hung up on this liminal mean? Occupying a position at on <clears throat> occupying a position at or on both sides of a boundary or threshold. So I think it's on the boundary of like what you really experienced mm. and like this imaginary mm. sort of. Romanticization of that. Of like, is it like a rendering of? Usually, yeah. So like, hang on. liminals, liminal spaces. Liminal aluminium. Here, open this video here. Thank you, liminal. And spaces. then let's just press play here. So yeah, these are like liminal, like 
Yeah, this is perfect. I love these. What is? I'll just watch them sometimes. What is this haunting time? It's like this is what being a kid felt like. Ooh. This is what being a kid felt like. Does this make you feel good? Yes. Really? Very good. I, this, I love this. Huh. This, I love this. I feel haunted. It feels spectacular. It feels like going back in time. Because as a kid, your like, memory and your perception of things isn't like 100%. It's not accurate. It's just sort of like, that's perfect. That's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's a good one. That one, I see what you mean now. So, like, it's I saw the nighttime water park. It's absolutely amazing to watch these because, again, it's like it's not quite a real memory. Yeah, it's just a memory of a feeling. Does this one resonate? Because that's with what stuff felt like. So yes, many stop that, signs. I mean, it's not about like it's not like everything had stop yeah. signs. Every stop no, signs were I everywhere. I just don't know if that's something people experienced. Um, I, it's not about the stop signs, but yeah, this resonates. Keep playing. That, like, I didn't see big windmills, but it still feels like a memory. That does. Hmm. I think that's just a picture. Yeah. These are, Some of these are just pictures, but I don't know. All right. So they have, it's like a tr trend. Like there's I guess, yeah. Types, there's a lot of these videos. There's a lot of them. Okay. And they're fascinating. And they make you feel a way. They do. Do they make you feel like a kid again? It makes me, it makes, it's, it's cool to see. It's not about like nostalgia or like trying to feel that way again. It's just cool to like see the world through your eyes as a kid again. Yeah. Because okay. you don't get to see the world like that anymore. I see the appeal. Because you know everything. And once you know everything, the illusion's gone. Yeah, you can't unlearn. So yeah, it's just cool to, to watch those, those videos. I think that's fun because you find these things on on the TikToks and I don't know. Otherwise, wouldn't know you wouldn't know them if you didn't see them. But you know what I mean, right? Right. I'm very I'm very offline right now, so I rely on you to find these things that I wouldn't otherwise know exist. There's also these ones of like very scary stuff. It's not it's, it's not scary now, but it's like stuff that you would be scary oh. scared of as a kid. And it's cool. It's like. It's like the, the the tricks that your mind would play on you as a kid watching or just even like looking out into the woods. It's like... Like Fantasia? There's demons everywhere. It's like, no, there's not. You fucking idiot. Oh. But as a kid, you don't know that. You yeah. don't fucking know that. Yeah. So like there's these like haunting videos that, that sort of emulate that. And it's just cool. Because when you're a kid, you're just this little ball of vulnerability. It's so scary. Everything's scary. And it like if you think about it, you're we don't feel those feelings anymore. Yeah. When was the last time you were, like, scared of the woods? Well. Truthfully. Yeah. I'm still pretty scared of the dark. I still I still look for the froggers every time I come down here. But I okay. get your point. I'm just a bad person to say that to because I'm actually scared of the dark. But it's true. Now we're, we're, we're just scared of what we know. I mean, we didn't know, you know. That's true. That's that's exactly. We're scared of what we know, or like the unknown of what we know. But you like really didn't know. You didn't know anything. Yeah. So it's and cool to like. Acting like that's normal. It's cool to adults. sort of see your fears as a kid. Yeah. And like, I don't know. It's nice. What is I it like, like it. dark spaces and what is what are these nightmarish liminal spaces like? What do you mean? What is, like what is a video like that? There's like, hang on. I'm actually, I want to find this one. Because I don't want to go to Uber. There's one in particular, like, it really captures the essence of a fucking, of being afraid as a kid. Here, uh, hang on. Can you even open it? Okay, yeah, check yeah. that out. Yeah, this like this feels like being afraid as a kid. Describe to our listeners bodies in the hallway. It's just like mysterious figures and hmm, weird creatures. weird creatures. Yeah. But like you're never gonna But you like how you feel when you watch this. I do. It's cool. Hmm. So Maybe I'm just still scared. 
Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not scared. So, yeah. cause like the, in, in reality, if I walked into like a hallway where like a, st- a stairwell, yeah. where there were a bunch of people dressed in white walking slowly down, I'd be like, what is going on here? Why are you, what is scared. going on? I wouldn't be scared. I'd be very But as a scared. kid, that's the scariest thing you can imagine. Everything in this video would scare me. So. But yeah, as a kid, that's nightmare fuel. So yeah, that's uh, liminal space that's videos. It's been illuminating for They're me. fun. And that's the hard, that's the hard thing is because I got off the socials again because of my mental health. But then I missed like, I mean, I wouldn't see this anyway because my feed's not going to give me anything enjoyable or... Yeah, you get nothing but like deformed babies, children, and the animals. But then with the politics, lately, then we try not to be a political podcast. But my God, what is happening? So a, like a lot has gone. A lot is happening right now. If you're trying to avoid politics, skip it. Skip ahead, because yeah, I have a little ranting to do. Because it, but that drove me to madness. I had to get off, you know, Instagram because I was like, I can't take this anymore. I'm so sick of all of it. You know what I mean? There's, you know, a lot more than normal has happened. It's too much. It's like I'm already feeling like pretty crazy coming off these meds, right? Questioning my reality, feeling like I have a personality shift. And then I have the media like gaslighting. Like, they are gaslighting It's right straight now. up gaslighting, Which, man. by the way, people think gaslighting just means lying now. Yeah. People think, people will be like, Tom Tom told me he was Tom told me he was at the bowling alley. He's gaslighting me. <laughs> yeah. No, he just lied to you. Yeah, that's he just, a, just that's a proper lied. old-fashioned lie. Like gaslighting and lying aren't the same gaslighting thing. Gaslighting is making you question a reality and make you think you're the fucking crazy one. Right. Yeah. But somebody just lying to you. It's just a classic lie. Be like, "Honey, what happened to the $500 in the savings account?" Um Oh, uh, I don't know. He's gaslight. No, he just lied to yeah, you. Yeah, he's a dirty fucking liar. So sorry, but you, yeah, but but the media is gaslighting. They us. are because they're at, like you have the debate. I know this is old news, but you have the debate, and then the media is like, "What the hell is happening?" Right. Joe Biden seems to be a little. The like, whole the like whole we time know, we've known the whole time they're like Biden is. Biden is on top of his game. Biden's never been sharper. Biden's ranting like Bill Burr when he's off camera. <laughs> In the back, we're all just like slapping our knees and laughing because yeah, Biden's so clever and witty. It, but yeah, we have to have like seven courtroom stenographers in the room typing up everything he's saying because we can't keep track because he's so fucking sharp and quick. Yeah, but but then we all we can all see him the whole. We t- all saw it the past like two and a half, basically three years. Yeah. We've been watching this happen, and we're all like, "You." Ah. So we've all known. And then I don't know. I, and then they're all like, "This is crazy!" As soon as the yeah, debate happens, suddenly all this like hysteria, and it's like, "What are you?" We all like. There's no part of me that was like, "Whoa." Debate. The debates happen, and they're all like, "How, how has no one told us? <laughs> how has no one told us that our president can't oh. say a word?" <laughs> When was someone going to say something to us, the media? When was someone going to come out of the closet and reveal this to us? That's what they acted like. Absolutely. So then that there's like gaslighting to that. And then the, we won't get into rent, but, to, you know, what? there's no democracy. We didn't vote for Kamala. But then, like, nobody, I, don't know, I keep getting all these polls, and there's all these videos, and people are like, who do you would replace Biden if it wasn't? No one ever said Kamala. Now they're acting like it's always been Kamala, and everyone's always wanted Kamala. No one's ever wanted Kamala. Everyone is act, Everyone is pretending like we've all loved Kamala for the last four years. So we've ever even liked her even a little bit. No one has liked Kamala. No. The media didn't like Everyone's hid Kamala's been locked in a bunker for the last four years. And now they're like... And now they're like... Pretending like she's this Sal- Salvatore. <laughs> the classic Salvatore. Yes. Oh, Kamala the Salvatore. <laughs> it's she's finally going to be our president. And we've all wanted it all the time. I don't understand. It's maddening. It's insane. Like, just admit what happened. I would respect that, but instead, don't like. 
if they if they came out and they said, "Listen, we don't have anybody." We were hoping that if we could hide Joe Biden away long enough, that no one would really notice that things were going terribly wrong. <laughs> That's what we were hoping. Yeah. But then the debates happened. Because we scheduled them early. And we couldn't pretend like that wasn't an issue anymore. Yeah. So now we're going to have Joe Biden disappear for five days and post (laughs) on Twitter with a signature that isn't his and a letter that we can't even confirm if he actually wrote. Not on his letterhead. Yeah. And not with any sort of presidential letterhead. And we'll we'll let him tell the whole country that he's stepping out of the race that way. On Twitter. And then we're going to pump up Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee because there's no one else. Yeah. There's no one. Have you ever been to a child's birthday party when you walk in, there's like a row of little hats and the mom says, pick a hat. And you don't want to wear any of the hats. So you just pick the one that's closest to you. That's what's happening with Kamala Harris. We don't want any of the hats. She's the cat that's closest to us. Yes. So we're going to put that on. But we're not going to like it. But we don't care. Yeah. We don't care because she's not doing anything anyway. It's the people above her who are pulling all the fucking strings (laughs) because our government is owned by corporations and it doesn't fucking matter who wins. It doesn't matter which hat you wear. That's what they should say. I would respect that, and I would be a Democrat. I'd be like, hell yeah. Right. All right. You know? But my God. That's, that was, yeah. That was beautiful, by the way. Thank that was you. really just. Thank you. That's what, it, that's what that's they should what say. That's what the campaign should just be like, because it's too late, and there's no one else we can elevate quickly enough. Right. Okay. Like, are we really going to pretend like we like Kamala Harris now? That Is that like what we're doing? And like Gen Z. Did someone Appeal? forget to put my address on the mailing list to get the brochure to explain to me how strategically we're going to pretend like we like Kamala Harris? Because I missed that memo. <laughs> you all got it. I didn't get that memo. And I'm over here still thinking Kamala Harris is a stupid person. And has been unburdened. By what, what has, has been. been. <laughs> Sorry to go on my tangents. Please, there. no, very. But it's it's absolutely maddening. We have to sit here and pretend like we're all we're all gonna pretend like everyone has loved Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. We're all gonna pretend. And the media, another thing, the media is like just straight up lying about. Straight up lying about. <laughs> that microphone stand. Be careful. <laughs> when Joe Biden became president. Shortly after, he appointed Kamala Harris to be over the border. And there were news articles, and there were people on the news saying that Kamala Harris is over the border in the Biden administration. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, and it wasn't like a big deal. It was like, Joe Biden appoints Kamala Harris to oversee border. Responsibilities. And, uh... Didn't do good? Well, I mean, say what you want about what she did... Honestly, that I'm not even concerned with that. Now, because the Republicans are like all mad about the border. Yeah. Border, border, border. So they're all like, Mexico has moved into us. Yeah, what you That's want what they Canada said. To what I want Canada to do to us. Uh, so the Republicans are all mad about the border <laughs> stuff. I love how you said that. <laughs> Sorry. And and so they're like, Kamala was the border czar. She was in, in control of the border. And now the media is saying, no, she wasn't. Really? She was never in charge. She's never even, no one told her about the border. Are they really? Yeah. They're pretending like, like people who said that she was the border czar on mainstream news yeah. are now saying that she was never the border czar. They really pre- and there's clips A being it. You can see them say both things. No way. I haven't seen that. The White House press correspondent is like, this is, uh, the the Republicans are lying. They're trying to pretend like Kamala was over the border. She doesn't even know what the border is. No one told her about a border. Like, we have the internet, motherfuckers. Stop it. Like. That's crazy. It's insane. To, like, that's a very brazen. 
Ugh. And so there's no democracy in the democratic party. No, it's an oligarchy. So pieces of that's shit. That's just gonna be it. Yeah. Hooray. 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 And I got stung by a wasp in the ear, just like how Trump got shot. Yes. Tragically. So that sounded yeah. sarcastic. I'm not. I, it's not good. Just, you know, I don't want to, you know, again, I don't want to get too political here, but just what if you looked at what RFK had to say? Sure. Not what people say RFK had to say. Just listen to the man talk. Listen, listen to him say his words. <laughs> he has his words and he says them and you can listen to them and then form your fucking opinions. Yeah. Just saying we don't have to vote one of two people. Amen, sister. So... Sorry to go on that. I'm I'm no, just, you know. Please, please let it out. <sighs> Cuz I feel the same way, but I had to get I had to disconnect cuz it's too much. I find it a little exciting. Yeah, I I get engaged. Yeah, but, but it's like the Trump stuff. Like I don't you know, I don't I'm not thrilled by that. I wasn't I didn't like him getting shot. So then comments around that is just like, ooh, this is kind of like, ugh. You know. And that was another weird. Like, very malicious. And I'm, I don't like him. Like, I don't like him. Right? But I'm sure. I don't feel good when I'm on social media and it's just like, kill, kill, kill. And I'm just like, well, this makes me feel bad in my stomach. And I don't are know are we it. these people? Yeah. Apparently so. But what's weird about the Trump shooting is that happens. And. I mean, historically, what the the right have been known as the conspiracy theorists, or at least as of late, yes. As of late, yeah. In the early in the early mid two thousands, the left was the conspiracy OG theorists, the truthers, and nine eleven was an inside job. But that was the fringe left who thought yeah. that, and then somehow the magnetic poles flipped. They did, and now that's a very alt right conspiracy theory. And all conspiracies belong on the right. Except. And now all of them are over there, yeah. Yeah. And all conspiracies are, are lies and misinformation. And if you believe them, what are you? Crazy idiot. A stupid piece idiot. A fucking stupid piece of shit. Yeah. Um, but then. But then. But then the Trump shooting happened. And suddenly, suddenly, after years of... Of of name calling towards anyone who thought any sort of conspiracy might be true, like maybe the guy with the island with the kids up to no good. Maybe he was up to no good with some other people who went to that island who were very powerful and happened to want to keep secrets made. And maybe, just maybe, the security guards who happened to fall asleep while simultaneously the camera just. Stopped working. <laughs> Maybe he didn't kill himself. I don't know. He didn't kill himself. That's what he's trying to say. Um, but you know, those you know, conspiracy theories are stupid, and that, what I just said mm-hmm. is a stupid thing to say. Banana. Because anyone who believes that is a dumb person. Parents. But suddenly. The Trump shooting happens, and all of a sudden, the left gets to dabble. Gets to, they got to dabble. They got to dabble back in conspiracy land. They did, and they you got to admit it's fun. It's fun. Do you understand it now? Do you understand? It's fun to have conspiracy theories because once you start pulling a little, it starts with everything. Yeah. So they're like, it's an inside job. Trump set this whole thing up. He's just staging this to gain sympathy votes. What do you think? It's like, who's going to sympathy vote for fucking Trump? Yeah. Nobody. He's already got his people. And that's like kind of a crazy, I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility, but probably unlikely to like kill a nice firefighter man and kill a kid. And, you know, it just, what's the payoff? Right. What's the risk? I don't know. But yeah, they got to dabble. So hopefully there'll be a little more Maybe they'll understanding be... of the real conspiracies because not all conspiracies are on. True. Are un, yeah, are completely baseless. Yeah. So. Politics. Um, that's our politics. Yay. And that's our politics in Oya Big Time. And we. And everything.
it's going to be great. Yeah, it'll be fine. Who cares? Our kid has a bright future ahead of them. Yep. Um, we don't have any calls, do we? Let's check. We have two calls. Two? We have two. Are they from different numbers? Calls. Um, they appear to be. Two calls? Yeah, let me. Uh, Send them over, dude. Here. They finally oh. felt sorry for us. I can't use my phone. Um, here. All right. So our first call comes from this person. Hey there. Uh, this is George. Oh. Is what you saw a shopping cart? Um, I actually really lost track of what my guesses were supposed to be. Um, we are to remain stoic. Maybe I'll be able to jog my memory. Anyway, take care, guys. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to hear George's voice. It's so George great to hear George's your voice. voice. That's hard what to a say. wonderful voice. A great voice. Very pleasant. Very articulate. Yeah. Um, and but thank nice. you for the call. I really appreciate yeah. that call. It was a great call. Unfortunately, we cannot answer the question. TJ has to lay down the law. I am a stickler for the law. He is, by contract, an oath. And the official rules for guessing what we saw clearly state that all guesses must be submitted at ohyabigtime.tv slash guess. Yes. Um, but it's nice to hear George's voice. It was very, thank you. Kind. Thank you for the call. Thank you for the call. <laughs> That's a very trailing. Um, the trailer applause. applause, yeah. <laughs> and then we have a second caller. Um, and that call is from um um is, is it playing? Oh well, that somebody called, but there's no audio. Oh. Huh. So I hope you're okay. Really? Whoever you are, I hope you're okay. We're positive. Yeah, there's no audio. Oh. It's it's 45 seconds long and there's no audio. But like what? Uh, I don't know. Technical difficulties maybe? Um, we have a lost call. A lost call is a lost cause. You know what they say? Oh, I'm so sad. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Mm. It just does nothing when you hit play. It does nothing when I hit, yeah, so... <sighs> Well, we we still had two calls. We still had two yes. two callers called in. Thank you, George, and mysterious forty five second call. Wait, did anyone guess what we saw? Um, so that's a great question. Let me let me tell you, that's a fantastic question. We did things a little differently today because it's our top one percent episode. Um, the uh. Tech- we have no new guesses. Okay. So, no one wants to win that five hundred dollars. No. Which is fine. I'll, I'll spend. We should. I'll spend add, that should, gift we card. We should change the rules so it expires, so we can just take it back. Don't yeah, because it's just like yeah. we could at least invest it. We could inv- yeah, earn interest invest on that. Invest it and make some money. So yeah, no one, uh, no one fucking guessed. Thanks for calling, George and Mysterious Caller. That we're sorry. That and again, we hope you're alive. I know, Jesus. Maybe very maybe daunting. it was Joe Biden. Mm. Hey. 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 Yeah. Um. Cool. We have to go celebrate. We have to go celebrate because our today way. is not only our twenty-first episode. Yeah. It's also our our eighth. No. Sixth anniversary. Sixth wedding anniversary. We've been married for 16 years. <laughs> Can you believe it? As of today. Uh, today's our sixth anniversary. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. We had a great summer wedding where everyone was miserable. And people were getting stung. There were lots of wasps. It's very hot. Wasps, wasps are haunting our marriage. Yeah, they are. Isn't that interesting? What does it mean? On the day of our wedding... Wasps were attacking people. Yeah. And the day before our 16th anniversary, <laughs> we were attacked by wasps. 
This is how the conspiracy start. Yes. They're coming for us. <clears throat> so. So we're going to go have a romantic editing sesh and yeah. some sush. And House of the Dragon. Will someone talk to us about House of the Dragon, please? It's our favorite show, and nobody will talk to us about yeah, it. Yeah, people are really not too happy with House of the Dragon. There's incest in Game of Thrones. I don't see what the big fuss is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't get it. <sighs> All right. We love you as much as we love each other. Yeah, That's so uh, we hope to see you next time, whenever that may be. It'll be sooner. It'll be sooner. Than five weeks. Because you've gotten better. Yeah, everything's fine. And everything's, everything's fine. Everything's better. In the world. Because we have Kamala Harris. Studio. This. With Kamala Harris and we have... I don't know what those are called. we got to go. Bye. <laughs> Hang on. we got to wait for it to cycle. That's just the uh, the other bad thing.